morning. This is Deborah B. Wilson. I am in Bradford. It is Sunday, the 23rd of May, 2021. So I had a really witty title for this YouTube video, but after I slept on it, I didn't care for it. And I actually wanted to talk briefly about Another aspect of yesterday. Yesterday I went into like, I don't drive, so I'm always taking some form of public transportation. In that light, I took a bus from Bradford to Leeds. Uh, there are a myriad of ways of seeing a situation, and one of the ways that I tend to see a situation is the relational dynamics of said situation. The ways in which relational dynamics are highlight, highlighted in said situation. So I, I had to run an errand in um, Leeds. In addition to that, I wanted to attend a protest. Uh, to observe it. Because that's what I do with my work. Uh, the bus journey from Bradford to Leeds was confusing for me because I remember sitting, I am from Chicago today and every day, and I sat on the bus as I saw the myriad, myriad of people getting on the bus with no mask on. And literally out of my mouth at this level, is the COVID gone? What happened to the COVID? Did the PM say the COVID is gone? I don't remember hearing him saying it was gone. Well, the bus was a double decker, and the uh, the first level, the ground level, was completely filled with people, and then the the top level, people started coming back downstairs because that was full, and they were standing on the stairwell, stairwell, and so there were lots and lots of empty seats. I'm sorry, sorry, lots and lots of people standing. Boy, it was the antithesis of that. Um, the windows wouldn't open. Uh, and people didn't have masks on, the traffic was bad, it was Saturday morning, so we were just stuck. So a journey, the journey was probably increased by 15 minutes. It felt like forever. It was really frightening. Um, I felt like I was in a can, um, and there were other people that felt the same way. Some people were on the bus that had taken off their masks because they were hot. I, I double mask, um, and in addition to that, uh, I wrap a scarf around. I wrap the scarf around. I, I'm sorry, I, I'm getting emotional, as I do, um, but I'm not going to correct this podcast. In any case, um, uh, people took off their masks. Because they were hot and they were laughing and joking in this vehicle that now felt like a can. And I wondered, how do you understand your relationship with your fellow human beings that are seated next to you, that are sitting under you because there were people standing and you don't have a mask on? How do you, how are you understanding that relationship? How do you understand your responsibility in that relationship? How do you feel connected or disconnected to the people that you're sharing this tin can with on wheels that's stuck in traffic? Then I wondered how, how we got in the situation, many, and how the driver, why the driver kept letting people on. The bus was filled to capacity at the interchange. Uh, the Bradford interchange, I think that's what it's called. At the very start of the journey. And it kept letting people on. So I don't know, and I'm going to be sensitive here. I don't know if the driver didn't know how to navigate the situation because many people were attending, it was clearly they were attending a political event and maybe he didn't want to be seen. I don't know, because we were filled to capacity. We're filled to capacity. 
There were people standing when the bus took off, standing in the aisles, standing on the stairwell. So how did he understand his relationship with us as the driver? And he has some responsibility. So I wondered about that, how he understood his relationship with the passengers he continued to let on the bus. I, I, I wondered that. Um, I, I didn't, there was a young boy sitting next to me in his 20s, and um, he wasn't masked. And then when he finally put on his mask, I said, that's very kind of you to wear your mask. He got it. So in the next row, uh, uh, on the other side of the bus, uh, were two women, and they were, we looked like we were the same age, and they were praying. One had prayer beads and was praying, and we made eye contact, and they looked just as frightened as I did, and they had, they both were a war of jobs, and one, the other one I couldn't see because she was a inner seat with one of the outer seats, she had also wrapped something around her face. Most of the people standing and laughing and joking with no mask on them were young. How did you understand how frightened we were? How did you read that situation? How did you feel connected to us or disconnected? The boy sitting next to me got it because his friend asked, what did she say? There was no animosity. She said I was kind, it was a kind thing to do for me to wear my mask. And the moment a seat freed up, he and his friend went and sat in the back. So whenever I look at a situation, even with the COVID, is how we understand our relationship and our place in that situation. And that bus ride made me wonder again, the people who decided their masks were too hot and they took them off in a bus in which we couldn't on the ground in the section I was in, open the windows, and we were stuck in traffic. So I didn't know what to do. So when the bus arrived at Leeds, I went to the customer service desk and I asked, maybe I was wrong. I asked, are we still supposed to mask on the bus? So, uh, the customer service, she said, I know, love, I know, they're not wearing the mask. She said some other things, but I think that's better. Not, it, they, they were very significant, but I, I, I just, it's not productive or want to share it in this particular space. But one thing she did say was she was talking about how people dealt with the COVID and this, what I call magical thinking. And she said, in Leeds, you can't imagine the number of people that have COPD who now have C COPD so they don't have to wear a mask. She told me, this person told me, the customer service person, a woman applied for a mask on the grounds that she had OCD. And then she said, no, sorry, I mean COPD. So your momentary discomfort, wearing that hot, sweaty mask, is more important to you than the fact that you might be infecting your fellow citizens, your fellow human beings. Heck, you might get infected yourself. So how, how do you understand your relationship? How do you understand your connectivity in the space that you're in? Is it really all about you? That mask is hot and I double mask. I've had my first of two vaccines. I double mask. And then I take wear a scarf around my neck in case I feel threatened like I did on that bus. And it's a triple goal for me. One vaccine shot, triple mask. How do you understand who you are, where you are? and how you connect in that space. How do you read that space? Um, so I'm jumping around a bit. 
I'm going to post an interview that was done by the Times Radio um, by the now chief of MI5, Ken McKellum, and the head of counterterrorism, Neil Basu. And the most important thing for me when I listened to it is how these two men understand their jobs and how they feel they connect to us. That they understand they have a sense of responsibility to us. That they understand that they chose this route in their life. And they have a duty of care to us. Well, it's no different when you get on that bus. You have a duty of care to your fellow bus riders. You have a duty of responsibility. If the mask is that bleeping hot for you, find another way to get to Leeds. But if you're going to be in a shared experience, which is what public transportation is, that's why it's public, you have a duty of care, a duty of responsibility. This is Deborah B. Wilson. I am in Bradford. Something I never say, but I'm supposed to say. Uh, like this video, share, and do subscribe. Thank you.